How do you imagine your perfect vacation? A trip to Europe? In the Caribbean? Or maybe in space? A few years ago, you could only dream of spending your vacation in space. But today, the dream can now be a reality. In the span of just 66 years, the world saw the first crewed airplane flight and the first lunar landing. Now, three enterprising billionaires have made it their mission to get humanity into space, to enjoy life, society, and luxury. Elon Musk's SpaceX, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. All three companies are pushing the boundaries of humanity's reach beyond Earth. While they may seem variations of the same theme, each company has its own achievements and goals for the future. Before we dive into how these three main players are distinguished from each other and how they view space tourism in the future, hello there and welcome back to the Discover Space Channel, where we bring the most exciting space facts you'd really want to know. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on to the video. Space tourism is broken down into two main types. Suborbital, not completing a full orbit of the Earth, so the rocket will go only up to the edge of space. And orbital, which is on a trajectory where it could remain in space for at least one orbit. Others question why such large amounts of money are being spent on space tourism when, frankly, we have so many critical issues right here on Earth. Despite this, space tourism is growing and there are a few companies that will take you to space and securely return you to Earth. Virgin Galactic is the youngest of the three aerospace companies, first beginning operations in 2004. In July 2021, Branson became the first of the three space tourism pioneers to reach space, along with his crew of three Galactic employees. Galactic hopes to begin launching commercial flights in 2022. The ticket price includes custom-made flight suits and two-day flight training at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Unlike Blue Origin and SpaceX, Galactic's goals are focused more on suborbital space experiences rather than research and travel to the moon and other planets. The company does have additional goals, including a supersonic transport airliner being developed. It would be able to fly from New York to London in about two hours, faster than the now-retired Concorde. Ticket prices range from $200,000 to $250,000. Virgin Galactic claims that none of the revenues from ticket sales has been used to fund the development of their spacecraft. Instead, sales are a way to measure market interest. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is the second main player in the suborbital space tourism industry and is the oldest privately funded aerospace and private spaceflight company in the United States. Blue Origin's ultimate goal is to preserve Earth and humanity's future by obtaining new energy sources and material resources from throughout the solar system. It also aims to make space travel accessible to private citizens traveling as paying customers. The whole experience will only take you approximately 11 minutes. You'd spend approximately a day training at their Texas facility before boarding their six-passenger domed capsule, which is sitting atop their 60-foot-tall New Shepard rocket booster. The booster would rise the same as a standard rocket, straight up to an altitude of around 60 miles in the atmosphere. You float in microgravity for a few minutes before the capsule re-enters, deploys parachutes, and lands on the Texas desert. At the forefront of this market is SpaceX that has acquired several firsts in space exploration since inception in 2002. Up to seven passengers would train for a few weeks in preparation for a launch with SpaceX. You launch out from Cape Canaveral, Florida, atop a 230-foot Falcon 9 rocket booster. It would take a few hours to launch and get to the International Space Station or orbit, and then you would return through the atmosphere. 
The capsule would then deploy its chutes and splash down in either the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX also has goals of uncrewed Mars landings in 2024 and crewed missions in 2026. From there, shuttles could planet hop by refueling on Mars and traveling to farther moons and planets. The eventual goal is to reach the edge of space and the outer reaches of our solar system. There is, however, one major hurdle they must conquer before space travel becomes extremely common, guaranteeing safety. Space flight entails a wide range of dangers. The riskiest phase of space flight is always the launch, but there are also environmental factors to consider. There are also physiological stressors. We have a space environment with radiation exposure as well as tiny meteorites that can be very dangerous. These health problems may be amplified on prolonged orbital tours, like those planned by SpaceX, instead of the shorter travels that Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin are aiming for. But then again, only time will tell. Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin all started the space sector for different reasons. But the question now is, in the not-too-distant future, will space tourism genuinely make space travel accessible to us all? And that's it for this video. Let us know what your thoughts are about space tourism. And as always, let us know what other space facts you'd want to explore next. We will see you in the next video.